free will and quantum indeterminacy. And some scientists have been trying to introduce into the free will debate. Um, and let's just say their success has been very mixed. And the reason for that is um, the, the difficulty of showing causality in this, this context, which sounds boring, but it's very important in philosophy to show if you hold a belief, why you hold that belief in concrete causal terms. And within determinacy, um, that link is, has been difficult um, to prove. So the debate is not about the existence of quantum indeterminacy at the quantum level. Um, I don't think anyone is seriously arguing that quantum indeterminacy exists um, within physics. I hope no one is arguing that, but um, the problem comes in with applying that knowledge to the workings of the human mind itself. And so far as I know, no one has ever been able to prove a causal relationship between action at the quantum level and the workings of the human mind. So where does that leave us? Well, um, it leaves us in a very odd position if you want to assert that quantum indeterminacy does have a causal relationship. Then the onus, the responsibility is on you to prove it. There are some philosophers who've tried to do that. Mostly the strongest ones in this field who are trying to do that are libertarians. The strongest one I know of is um, a philosopher at the University of Texas named Robert Kane. Um, <clears throat> and he has spent a lot of energy and a lot of time trying to prove a correlation. A lot of philosophers don't think he's really established a correlation, but so far as I know, he is the strongest advocate for this kind of correlate between indeterminacy and the workings of the human mind. I'm posting a video below. It's 46 or 48 minutes, I don't remember. You can skip to frame 38 if you want to hear a capsule of his argument on this. If you know of others who are actually working diligently um, to make this correlation and have been able to do so, I would love to know who they are. Um, it's, a, it's a subject that interests me a lot. So if you know of someone who's doing serious research in this and has established uh, a correlation between the workings of the human mind and quantum indeterminacy, if you could provide me with sources, I'd love to read them. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.